the slice around a little bit the last few weeks and let's get into what I like about it first. So uh, I do like the design of it. I like the integrated battery, the step through frame, the front wheel is smaller, which is a little, um, makes the geometry a little awkward at first, but what's nice about that is when you have the front cargo rack loaded with a bunch of gear, it's a little bit lower to the ground and so it feels more sturdy uh, and more stable, I should say. So that's um, part of the geometry I really like. When it comes to the geometry, I'm 6'2", and the bike did feel a little um, awkward. Um, you know, you're very, it's upright posture at first, um, but the, the handlebars don't come up very far, and so you're not, you're still kind of leaning over a little bit. So you kind of have this in between like upright kind of smaller wheelbase so it feels like things should be closer but then you're still kind of leaning to grab the handlebars which was just a bit different than um, traditionally if I'm riding a bike that I where I'm seated very upright with an upright posture I expect more of like that beach cruiser big wide handlebars and these were a little bit narrower a little bit tighter the display on the bike is great good quality as you move through modes pedal assist levels there's different colors which makes it really easy to when you glance down you can tell what mode you're in uh, it comes with the throttle the controls to do pedal assist levels and lights are super straightforward. Speaking of lights, it has integrated lights, which I love. The lights also have some edge to them. So at night, they're not just uh, one direction. You can actually see them from the side a little bit too, which is great. See what else we got? Um, it also has very good uh, rain fenders, which I would expect from a company based out of Portland uh, where it rains a lot. The fenders come down really far. I took it through some kind of gnarly puddles and didn't get my shoes wet at all, which I, I really liked. The front rack uh, has this little guide guardrail. I'll show you up close what that looks like. You can easily fit two grocery bags in there, but then also if you only have one bag or something smaller, the metal uh, actually will slide back. You can adjust it. And so you can kind of uh, tighten something in if it's a little bit smaller, just one grocery bag, and if you don't have a net or something for the front cargo bin. Uh, so that's a nifty feature. Um, not sure how often I would actually use that. I'd probably just get like a little cargo net for things, but nice to see them trying some new innovative features here for sure. So yeah, let's talk about those quick release handles. So the handlebars have a quick, quick release kind of lever that lets you adjust them. I assume it's because this bike is meant to be, you know, if it's shared in a household, someone who's tall and someone who's shorter can, can easily switch between them. Uh, that's great that you can quick adjust the handlebars, but the seat does not have a quick adjust lever. You just have to use an Allen wrench on it. So that to me negates like, why do you need a quick release handlebar levers if you don't have a quick release on the saddle? So I kind of wish they had gone on the seat post, they had added a quick release lever. That would have made it even easier swapping back and forth between riders. It's got hydraulic disc brakes that feel super smooth. It's got a Gates carbon belt drive, which is top of the line belt drive. The hydraulic disc brakes plus the Gates carbon belt drive and the, the pretty plush tires just make it a super smooth, mellow, um, comfortable ride. Like it just on flat, smooth pavement, it was great. Even on you know some gravel roads, like some gravel trails I took it on, the tires handled that gravel really well. So um, yeah, this was, a, this was a fun little bike to ride. Uh, also with that smaller front wheel, you had a pretty tight turning radius. I had to turn around on a multi-use bike path uh, when I was doing some of the speed tests on it and it just was easy to make that loop. I didn't have to put a foot down, I could just easily make a U-turn. So I like that. This is a fun little maneuverable bike. Let's talk about a few areas of the slice where I thought it fell short. The first is on that, uh, is on its gearing. Now it's geared for hills, um, which is good, like climbing a hill, uh, it was, I could climb a, a good sized hill. A hill I took it up average like a 9% grade, even up to 12% in some points, and I didn't have trouble on it, even though it is only a single speed bike. I was able to handle that climb okay. Now, the problem with the, the gearing then, with it being, you know, geared for hills is that on flats, um, you have to spin a pretty high cadence to get up to a top speed of 20 miles an hour. So. To hit 15 miles an hour, I had to average about a 90, 95 cadence, which is pretty fast. Um, and then to hit 20 miles an hour, I was going 100, I had 120 cadence, which is not sustainable by any means. So realistically on the flats, this bike is doing tops 15 miles an hour comfortably. Um, you know, you're not gonna be pushing it up to 20 miles an hour at any time. Uh, the other thing that was a little odd was the, is the stand. It comes with a dual stand, but I think the legs are just a little bit too close together, which, 
makes it just a little tippy um, if you if you have it on an uneven surface or kind of incline it's actually kind of easy to tip i wish they had put those legs a little bit further apart to give it more stability when you have it on its stand so let's also talk about that throttle so I, as i mentioned earlier i really do like having a throttle on an e-bike however the throttle they use is a uh, thumb lever throttle which i wish they had done a grip sh um, twist throttle the reason for this is that um, as you hold the handlebars, as you can see here, um, and if your hands are slightly further out on the handlebars, as I tend to put my hands out just because I have a slightly broader shoulders, the, to reach the throttle and to push it down with your thumb is actually kind of hard. You do have to reach pretty far. Um, and then the throttle has a, a small little raised edge, which was actually kind of uncomfortable on the, 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 my thumb pad, um, especially as my thumbs were a little bit colder because of this cold weather. I wish they had a grip shift throttle on here, but you know, that's a minor nitpick. I'm just overall, I'm glad they have a throttle. That's, that's great. So. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to cover about the Slice is the uh, motor itself. So it has a rear hub motor, 350 watts, not all, I think it up to a max of like 500. So it's a strong motor, which I like. The one thing I've noticed about it is a little bit noisier when you're on a high pedal assist level, and it's using both, a, they have both a torque and cadence sensor, but I found that it outputs the motor as every time you pedal, you really hear it kind of rev the motor up. And so as you're pedaling, it kind of goes, uh, 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 uh. I haven't really noticed that on a lot of e-bikes. Usually they kind of, it's not as, as a pronounced as like, as every time you have a pedal stroke, the motor kind of revs up. Usually it's a little more sustained than that. So the rev just, I think is more of a seamless noise. So uh, I don't know if that's just the choice of the motor that's a little bit noisier, or if it's just um, how they're managing the power out of the motor. Um, I don't really notice it on the flats as much. It was more just when I was like on a slight incline, I could really hear it. I would just prefer it to just output a little more steady state uh, as I was climbing the hill. So that's the Slice Light. All in all, a great e-bike from Volt. I definitely see it being great for someone who lives in a, a smaller apartment or house, doesn't have a lot of space for an e-bike, so you need something a little bit smaller, but you wanna run errands, you wanna pick up groceries with it or do other things with this. This is like a great little utility e-bike. So. Um, thanks Volt for letting me test it out and I'll catch you all on the next ride. See ya.